Mike from NS Auto Works here, and today we're going to be installing our Sela Concepts Power Plus module on our 2023 Dodge Hornet. The Sela Concepts Power Plus module is a great way to add some power to your car without overstressing the factory components. It's a very easy install and very easy to remove if you ever need to, and you can expect about 15 to 20 percent increase in power. Here are the tools that you're going to need to install this module. It's going to take you about 30 minutes to install, and all you're going to need is a quarter inch drive, a 3 8 drive, a 4 inch extension to kind of make your life a little easier a shallow socket 10 mil, a deep socket 10 mil, an eight and a seven. So step one, we're gonna loosen up this clamp with a seven mil socket. Now we're gonna move on to this side of the airbox and remove this with an eight mil socket. Now we're gonna take our 10 mil and remove the three bolts here, here, and the last one is around the side. Now we're gonna to wanna to remove this vacuum line from the side of the box. You can just pull the hard line out of its rubber seat. And we remove this clasp. And now you can remove the air box. Now we're gonna take our deep socket 10 mil and remove this nut and then the stud underneath it. Now we're going to switch to our shallow socket to remove the last 10 mil bolt. And now we can move this plastic shielding just out of our way. We're going to release this lock, depress it, and pull back. You can identify your boost pressure sensor plug by as a three pin connector versus a four pin connector for your manifold air pressure. So whenever you're connecting these onto the sensor themselves, the pigtail on this end will go on the same way you took it off. And then whenever connecting this to the factory side of the harness, this flat side here is gonna be on the bottom of the plug. It's gonna go just like that. And we're gonna go ahead and sneak this under here and connect this to our boost pressure sensor here. And then we're gonna connect our other side to the factory side. Make sure to lock the tabs on both the power module and the factory side harness. Now we're gonna go ahead and get our manifold absolute pressure sensor. It's gonna be this plug right here. It's gonna be underneath everything, a little hard to get to, but you can release this lock and then straight up. So now we're going to follow this wire here, take the same path, and then we are going to go ahead, get this guy down, and kind of feel for the sensor, and then you're going to push it so you hear it click, and then lock the tab. Now we can connect the OE side of the connector into our harness. Flat side like this always needs to be down. Lock the tab. Now that we're done with installing the harness, we're gonna just tidy everything up and plug in our module. Just reinstalling the bolts for the plastic shielding here. And we're gonna snug up this one back here with a shallow socket. And then this one with a deep socket, both of which are 10 mil. Now we can reinstall this plate. Now we're going to go ahead and reinstall our air box. Put our 10 mils back in. Two. Side. Now we can tighten them all down with our 10 mil. Retighten this clamp with our 8 mil socket and this clamp with our 7 mil. Lastly, we're going to reconnect our O2 wire into this clamp here. Before we plug in our module, we're going to route our wires. 
around the back and down for a nice clean install. Once you have everything connected and back in place, we're gonna pull all the wires through, get rid of any slack. Then we're gonna take a cable tie. Fasten these together, snip all the ties. Now we can tuck our excess neatly into this pocket. And now we just have to connect our Power Plus module. Now we're gonna go ahead and mount our box. We found the best place is right here along this ridge away from any heat. We're gonna go ahead and use double-sided tape, but you can use double-sided tape or Velcro, whichever you prefer. Go ahead and stick this on here. And now we can connect it. And just like that, you install your Power Plus module. We can now go ahead and start the vehicle, make sure everything's working properly. If there are any lights come on or anything seems to be off, go ahead and check all of your connections, make sure nothing's loose or backwards. If for any reason you're having any problems, you can go ahead and give us a call and one of us will help you personally. It might even be me. So we're gonna go ahead and fire up the car now and give it a whirl. Seems to be running properly. I'm gonna turn it back off so I can talk to y'all. So now you can go ahead and take it for a drive as long as everything checks out. Keep in mind it has a four minute warm up timer and then the module will automatically kick on and you should feel the power immediately. So you should start feeling the power increase immediately, but it has a 80 mile learning process in which you will feel the full power of it after those 80 miles. And as always, any questions, give us a call, visit our website or visit any of our two in-store locations. So now let's take it for a drive.